Hi, my name is Peter. I am a C7C8 quadriplegic, and this is a video on the E stem. Um, now, usually I hate videos that uh, advocate buying some sort of really expensive equipment to help with the healing process because, yes, that expensive equipment is going to help you, but you're also already spending all of your money on the therapy and other things that you need um, to help make adaptions for living spaces and basically anything that will help you be able to function. Um, but I honestly think that this is an extremely important supplementary tool because what it does is it sends electrical impulses into your muscles um, basically in the way that the nerves are supposed to do it and it will help strengthen the connection between the brain and the central nervous system and the peripheral nerves that make your hand able to move. Um, so with that said, uh, of course your, your healing is going to happen anyway the more you work, but this basically helps you work the muscle even more. Um, I'll explain it uh, with a demonstration actually. So this is, um, if I can grab it, this is my e-stem. It is by Neurotech. Um, this one, it was about three hundred dollars. Uh, I guess it's, that's kind of expensive. I have seen uh, forms of eSIM on the market that are like ninety-eight dollars. Um, this is the one that my occupational therapist recommended, and uh, I got it through her. Um, and I highly recommend, highly, highly recommend, talking with your occupational therapist about purchasing eSIM before you go ahead and do anything by yourself because some are equipped better for gross motor movement basically working your legs and others are better for working your fingers and arms and since we're focusing on working our fingers and arms this is the e that we're going to use um, and basically the way it works is you got your e and you got a wire that connects all the way to us. Um, two pads, all right, and the pads, of course, one of them is negative, one of them is positive, and you connect them to the muscle bellies of whatever you're trying to work. Um, I have learned how to do finger extensors, finger flexors, uh, thumb flexion, and thumb uh, adduction, which is bringing the thumb in. Um, of course, there are other ways to do it, but I am simply going to demonstrate um, finger flexion, finger extension, and thumb flexion in this video. Uh, and so, basically, you got a big pad and a little pad. And what makes them stick better is actually if you put some water on them. Um, and the, just on a little bit of water on the black part of the pad, and that actually helps um, the adhesive stick better. And um, the muscle belly that we're trying to get for finger flexors is right here, if you remember. And when you try and flex those fingers, you should feel a contraction in there. That's where the big one's going to go. The little one is going to go right there on those two tendons. And um, as you crank the velocity up, basically you should be able to try and move your fingers with it and it will basically create m more of a pull. Um, now I do recommend that you should only do this for 30 minutes a day at the most because this stuff is draining. You're having electrical impulses sent into your body <laughs> for 30 minutes. That's gonna hurt. I mean it hurts like regular functioning people after one minute. Um, and so depending on your level of sensation, you might want, not want to use too much, uh, electricity because you also want to keep the skin integrity. Um, if you have too much electricity going into your body for too long a time and you don't feel it enough, then you can actually damage the skin. So make sure not to do that. Um, check your skin often, I would say after about 10 minutes, uh, see if there's any redness. There might be a little bit, but if it looks really bad, stop. Um, so we went over 
Finger flexion spots are one right here, one right here. For finger extension, you're going to want to get, see these muscles? You're going to want to put the big one right here, and that'll help with that. And you're going to want to put the little one right here. Um, and that will basically allow your fingers to extend um, with the electricity. And another important note, when the electricity is going, make sure that you are trying to move the muscle too. It's a lot of the uh, imaginary muscle movement, you know, even if I can't move my index finger, when the e-stem's on and it's moving my finger for me, then I'm going to still try and lift that index finger, even if it doesn't go. Um, and so, sorry, I keep getting distracted. Um, finger extension, big one right here on those muscles that are moving, little one right up here. And then for uh, thumb flexion, you're going to want to put the little one right here. It's kind of, it's this interesting space on your thumb that the muscle belly is usually right here, but in order to bring the thumb in, you're going to need to go a little bit to the side. So the pad should go like right about here, and that'll allow the thumb to go in. Um, if you want the thumb to go out, you put the little one right here, and then the big pad can either go here if you're trying to bring the thumb out, or on the muscle belly here if you're trying to bring the thumb in. So basically all flexion, it's going to be here, the big one, all extension, it's going to be right here. And uh, that is how we target our lovely muscles with the e -stim. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Um, and I will be glad to answer to the best of my ability. Uh, and happy healing.